hey guys welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl kinesthetic with the kinesthetics and today's video is going to be a self-care routine so this is typically what i'll do on a sunday morning just to make sure that i'm feeling good and ready for the week so you guys are gonna see me do my hair in a slick little bun wax myself do my skincare body care and all of that so if you guys are interested then go ahead and keep on watching before we get started do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel give this video a big thumbs up drop a comment down below after you guys watch this entire video and without further ado let's go ahead and get started so the first thing that i'm going to do is wash my hair if you guys know me if you guys know kendra if you guys know kinesthetic i do not play about washing my hair but i wasn't in the mood to do a full wash day on this day so what i did is i used a co-wash i used the eden body works lavender and aloe moisturizing co-wash and you guys i have been in love with this lot okay this line is amazing you guys know how i feel about aloe i love aloe especially for the hair so we get that in this line and also the lavender scent isn't too overwhelming which i really love because i'm not really a huge fan of lavender scents but this co-wash had amazing slip on my hair as you guys can see my curls were popping and all of that so if you guys are looking for a co-wash definitely check this one out i feel like a co-wash is a good product to use when as i mentioned you're not ready for like the full wash day as far as like you know stripping your hair cleansing your hair pre-washing your hair and all of that the co-wash just does a quick easy job for you and i really really love that and i really love this one i took my time i massaged my scalp because one thing about me is i love a good scalp massage also massaging your scalp helps with hair growth it helps penetrate the hair the scalp and all of that so whenever i do my shampoo whenever i do my co-wash i like to make sure that i massage my scalp and after i did my scalp massage i took my felicia leatherwood brush which you guys know that i love black owned brush and i detangled my hair from ends to roots just to make sure my hair was nice and detangled and also i feel like this step helps to make sure that the product is spread evenly throughout my hair but as you guys see my hair was super easy to detangle because of the slip that we got from that co-wash so i say all of that to say that if you are in the market for a new co-wash jeffy check this one out eden body works is also black owned so you'll be supporting a black owned brand and i know that they had a lot of sales for black friday cyber monday i'm not sure if they'll still be going on by the time this video goes up but i will definitely have the link for these products to eden's website down below so you guys can check it out and you guys can grab them on a sale because y'all know me i love telling y'all what to buy but i love telling y'all what to buy and how to save a coin so make sure you guys definitely go ahead and check out eden body work so after i detangle my hair this is how it's looking and i went ahead and rinsed that co-wash out of my hair i took my time and made sure i rinsed it thoroughly just to make sure that the hair was nice and clean all of the co-wash was out so that we can move ahead to the next step which is deep conditioning so the deep conditioner that i chose to use also comes from eden body works and it also comes from their lavender and aloe collection this is their anti-breakage deep conditioner this deep conditioner does not have any protein in it i wanted to start off by saying that and i chose to use this deep conditioner because i'm a firm believer that brands formulate their products to work together so since i used that co-wash from their lavender and aloe collection i was like let me go ahead and use the deep conditioner too i've been using this deep conditioner for a while and when i tell you guys that it helps my curls pop it helps my hair retain moisture it glides right onto my hair it just feels so good and as i mentioned earlier similar to the co-wash this deep conditioner is not heavily scented when it comes to the whole lavender so it the smell didn't bother me at all i love this deep conditioner it does such a good job with my hair so after i applied it i went ahead and let it sit in my hair for about 30 minutes as i stepped out the shower and did some other things so as soon as i got out the shower i went ahead and 
put my luster's pink deep conditioning cap on top of my shower cap this cap has micro beads so what i do is i warm it up and it helps to penetrate the deep conditioner into my hair further so while i have this on i do heat it up every 15 minutes just to make sure i get the best deep conditioning experience and now i'm gonna go ahead and wax my body because girl the girls are hairy so this is the wax kit that i use from amazon love 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 her and also this is the wax beads that i use i also got these from amazon because i wasn't a fan of the beads that came with the wax kit so if you are getting this waxer this wax pot just get the wax pot don't get the kit because the beads mm, we don't like that so i went ahead and started off by waxing my armpits if you guys watch my DIY waxing video, I'll go ahead and link that up above so that if you guys want more details on how I wax myself, you guys can check it out there. But I do wax myself. I fully wax myself. Bikini, Brazilian, all of that. I do it on my own. <laughs> Listen, when they say black women are superheroes, they ain't never lie, okay? So after I waxed myself, I got back in the shower to rinse my deep conditioner out. And this is how my hair is looking. I ended up leaving my deep conditioner in for about 30 minutes as I did wax myself. So this is how my hair is looking. Nice and luscious, nice and juicy, nice and bouncy, which we love. So I took my time once again to thoroughly rinse out that deep conditioner because I did use a lot of the deep conditioner. So I just wanted to make sure that everything came out before we got into the steps of styling the hair and all of that so as you guys can see the shine is there the moisture is there my curls are popping and i just went ahead and detangled my hair one more time before i went in and applied my leave-in conditioner so the leave-in conditioner that i use is also from eden body works lavender and aloe collection this is their moisturizing leave-in conditioner if you guys know me y'all know i love to apply my leave-in conditioner while i'm still in the shower i just feel like that helps my hair penetrate and lock in the moisture and the benefits of the leave-in conditioner the most i have low porosity here my hair is also dry so i just find that this helps me out so if you have low porosity here if you have dry hair try applying your leave-in conditioner in the shower you guys can see the difference between my hair with the leave-in and without it this leave-in conditioner it's bait i told you guys that i've really been enjoying this lavender and aloe collection it's just been making some points on my hair so <laughs> when y'all see me using in this line time and time again just know that this line is the truth and i told y'all so so make sure you guys check it out and pick it up okay so after i apply my leave-in conditioner it's time to wash the body it's time for the body care so the first thing that i'm going to do is cleanse my skin wash my skin and i'm gonna use my fruity from musu beauty and i'm also gonna use my dr bronner's soap this is the dr bronner's peppermint so if you don't use Dr. Bronner's on your skin, like, did you really bathe? Did you really wash yourself? Are you really clean? The girls need answers because Dr. Bronner's is really that girl. I've been using it for some time now, and I just feel like nothing has cleaned my body like this. So this is the first thing that I use to wash my body, and then I follow up with the Necessary Eucalyptus Body Wash just to, like, add some moisture back into my skin because it's Dr. Bronner's. It's a little, like, drying, especially depending on the time of the year, but I just like to follow up with my Necessary Body Wash to make sure that my skin is nice and moisturized and all of that. And I love this Futi because it makes it super easy to wash my back, as you guys see, but I went ahead and washed everything off afterwards wash everything off and then i went in with my necessary body exfoliator in the eucalyptus scent you guys this exfoliator is amazing one a little bit of it goes a long way so you're gonna have this product for some time i shared with you guys in my recent shower routine how much i love this product it just does a good job exfoliating the skin once you rinse it off your skin feels like butter butter okay you can't believe it's not butter because it ain't it's the necessary body exfoliator my skin just feels so good after i use that exfoliator so i go ahead and rinse my body off after exfoliating and now it's time to get out of the shower so once i got out the shower the first thing that i do is style my hair so you guys see i air dry my hair for about 15 to 20 minutes just to 
getting ready to be styled and as i told you guys in the beginning of this video i'm gonna do a low sleep bun i haven't done one of these in a while but i also just wanted my hair to be away back and i don't know i just have my mood sometimes when i'm like i just want my hair out of the way i don't want nothing on my eyes i don't want nothing on my face just slick it back so i'm gonna show you guys real quick how i do my slick bun so i go ahead and separate my hair as you guys saw and i start off with a section in the back the first thing you have to do is make sure your hair is detangled tangled as you should with everything else you don't want no tangles in your hair so i'm using my pattern beauty brush to detangle my hair and then i'm going to follow up with the eden body works lavender and aloe hair and body butter this butter can be used on your hair or on your body i've used it on both and i honestly really like it but it just applies so nicely onto my hair and it doesn't weigh my hair down at all so i went ahead and took my time and applied that butter throughout my hair and then i went ahead and followed up with the eden body works smoothing gel also from the lavender and aloe collection and i used that to like slick my hair down i love this gel because it gives you a light hold it doesn't flake i didn't experience any flaking i didn't experience any white cast or any of that it did exactly what i needed it to do so i go ahead and take a scrunchie i just got these from my local beauty supply store and i just go ahead and put my hair into like little ponytails that are connected if that makes sense just because i feel like this is the easiest way for me to get my thick hair into a low sleep bun because if i go ahead and do it all at one time baby it's gonna be bumpy it's gonna be it's not gonna be flat it's not gonna be sleek it's just gonna be a low bun not a sleek low bun <laughs> so you guys are gonna see me repeat these steps over and over again until i have a low sleep bun So once you sleek your hair down, you can either leave it in a ponytail or put it into a bun. I like to just put it into a bun because I told you guys, I don't want to see no hair. I don't want to feel no hair. So I went ahead and just took another scrunchie to wrap my hair around and create a low sleek bun and this is how it ended up coming out i love a low sleep bun but one thing about it i cannot keep this in for more than a day i know myself a little bit too well So now it's time for skincare. As you guys see and as you guys may know, I do have acne prone skin. I share my acne journey here on my YouTube channel. So if you guys are new here, definitely check out my playlist that I will link up above if you guys want to see more videos relating to my acne journey. But I'm just going to go ahead and do my standard morning skincare routine. There are two, I guess you could say like new products that I started using since I did my last morning skincare routine. So when we get to those steps, I will be sure to call them out but i like to double cleanse my skin in the morning and at night because it just does things to my skin and as i am cleansing i am following the 60 second rule just to make sure that my skin is nice and cleansed so after i went ahead and double cleanse my skin and wash those cleansers off this is what my skin is looking like <laughs> baby she looking good and then i went ahead and brushed my teeth these are the toothpaste that i use and if you guys want to see more on my oral hygiene routine i have a video on that too <laughs> so i'll link it up above so you guys can go ahead and check it out but i do not play about my pearly whites okay babes so if y'all want to see how i keep my teeth white check out that video 
And now I'm going to go ahead and get into my actual like skincare, like layering the products onto my skin. So the first thing that I do is I apply my toners. I use the same two toners from my esthetician's product line. So I just glide those on and glaze my skin up. And one of the products that I started using differently or adding to my skincare routine is this SkinCeuticals Discoloration Defense. I told you guys about this in my recent video about like new products that I picked up for dark spots and hyperpigmentation. So if you guys didn't see that video, check it out. But this product has been helping with my dark spots and pigmentation, my hyperpigmentation. The second new product that I'm using is this Topical Faded Cream. When I tell you guys, if you have dark spots, if you have hyperpigmentation, pick this product up. It is the truth. I will say though, that this product does smell, but I saw on Topical's Instagram page that they recently, I don't wanna say reformulated, but they changed the product so it doesn't smell as bad as it does now <laughs> so if you guys are concerned about the smell of this product if you guys watch reviews because everyone's review calls out the smell of this product then definitely try to check out the new one that they have i don't know if it's a cherry scent but i saw a little cherry emoji in the caption so i'm guessing that it smelled good now but the scent does not bother me because it works so well the only thing about this product is that you cannot use it in your routines where you use retinol so i only use this product in the morning i can't use it at night because i do use retinol in my night skincare routine so i definitely wanted to call that out and then i went ahead and just applied my spf because you should be wearing spf each and every day period no excuses and the spf i use is from my esthetician's product line so i just take my time and work that spf into my skin white cast wear because we don't know that we don't acknowledge that and this is how my skin looks nice and cute and I make sure to moisturize my lips. The product that I've been loving to moisturize my lips specifically after my skincare routine is this First A Beauty Ultra Lip Therapy. This is bae. So now we're going to move on to my back. As you guys see, I do have back knee. I speak about it quite often on my YouTube channel. So I'm going to show you guys real quick what I do to my back. So the first thing I use are these glow exfoliating pads from my esthetician Cynthia's product line. I just take that and apply it to my back. These pads, I believe they have lactic acid, mandelic acid, and salicylic acid. So they do help with like breakouts and they help with pigmentation and dark spots too. So I make sure to use this first step on my back and then I follow up with my PFB Vanish Roll-On. This roll-on is bad. You guys hear me speak about it so long. I've been speaking about this product for over a year now because it was one of my top products of 2020. I just take that and roll it onto my back. As I'm doing this, I'm like carefree with it because you guys are going to see what I do next. But I use this product on my back, on my coochie area, and under my arms. So I know a lot of you guys always ask about my armpits and how I keep them so light. Pick this product up, period. And then the last step I do to my back is I use the Topicals Faded Cream. And I apply this amount to my finger and then I go ahead and apply it to my back. And that just allows me to like work all three of the products in together. That's why I was like, it don't matter if you do the PFB Vanish Roll On Cute or not. Because we're going to take the time and work all of the product in, okay? This rub I got from H&M. I know you guys are going to ask. I got this years ago from H&M. And now I'm going to work on my body. So the first thing that I'm using is my Necessary Body Lotion. This product is fragrance free, but it does such a good job moisturizing my skin skin so i like to use this as the first step before i layer on any other products onto my skin the second product i've been loving is the necessary body serum this is also fragrance free and i told you guys about all of these necessary products in the partnership that i did with them about a month ago but i really love these products like y'all may be like a sponsor she just doing it no i really love these products they work so well they make my skin feel baby smooth so if you guys are wondering if necessary the truth it is so go ahead and pick it up because the girls are not lying and then my last step is i take my fenty skin butter drop you guys really convinced me to pick this product up and my quick little review on this is that i really like it it smells so good it has such a sexy consistency but the price honey the price i would only purchase this product when it's on sale and i need like a 30 percent off 
I need like a 30% off to restock on this product. So this mini is going to hold me over for a while. Sephora does have a sale coming up. So during that sale, I will go ahead and probably pick up another one of these. I don't know, but I like it. But the price, baby, I don't know. And I am a perfume wearer in the house. So I'm going to use my Born in Roma Valentino all day perfume to just make myself smell good feel good and just close off this self-care routine because you gotta smell good to feel good you feel me you feel me but i really hope you guys enjoyed this self-care routine i wanted to show you guys like a roundup of everything that i do on sundays and inspire you guys to have a routine to allow yourself to feel good look good and just be good so that you can have a great week each and every week so i hope you guys enjoyed if you guys did make sure you guys subscribe to my youtube channel give this video a big thumbs up and drop a comment down below all of the products used in today's video will be linked down below so make sure you guys check the description box also make sure your bell notifications are on because vlogmas starts on wednesday so make sure you guys are tuned in because i'm not coming to play this year thank you so much for watching and i love you guys so so much Mwah.